Hello YouTubers and welcome to today's Yield Labs YouTube video. Please consider subscribing to our channel, hit the like button if you enjoy our content, and last but not least, don't forget you can hit the bell icon to get notified when we release new videos for the latest and greatest crypto yield generation content. Hello guys, Toby here from Yield Labs. I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to transfer assets from the Ethereum blockchain over to a shiny new Terra Station wallet using the Terra Bridge. One of the prerequisites for this is to make sure that you are using a Chromium based browser. So you need to ensure that you are either using Google Chrome or the Brave browser. Those are the two supported ones that I know of at the moment. You're gonna to need to go to your respective browser's extension store or equivalent and in download an extension called Terra Station. Once you've downloaded this extension, it will show up in your extensions toolbar with a little Terra icon like this, and then you can go ahead and click. Once the drop down menu appears, you will be able to select the option New Wallet. Once you click on that, it will open a new browser window and it will give you the new wallet options and requirements. Basically, you're gonna to need to give your wallet, your new wallet, a name. You're gonna to need to set a password. I think the minimum requirement here is a 10 character alphanumeric password. So let's just go ahead and type something in here. And then beneath this, you'll find your seed phrase. Now I don't need to tell people who aren't new to crypto how important it is to make sure that you have a copy of your seed phrase. Seed phrase can be used to uh, recover lost wallet passwords or lost funds and so on. But without this, you're basically bust and, and out of luck. There's even a little red exclamation point here that tells you, what if I lost my seed phrase? And it tells you that we cannot recover your information for you. If you lose your seed phrase, it's gone forever. Terra Station does not store your mnemonic. Once all of the above is clear, guys, you can go ahead and confirm that I have securely written down my seed and I understand that lost seeds cannot be recovered. It's important that you actually have a copy of this because the next window is gonna require you to use two of your seed words from your phrase. So it's gonna ask for two random ones. Mine's asking for the 12th and the 22nd word. Yours will probably be different and there'll be different words. Go ahead and enter them in here and select create new wallet. And now I'm not gonna do this step because I've already created a new wallet for the purposes of this tutorial. So here it is guys, once you've gone ahead and followed all of those steps, you will be able to go up to the Terra icon in your extensions toolbar, give it a click, and you will be presented with your new wallet interface. One of the next things that I think is really valuable is to make sure that you download the Terra Station desktop client. What you'll see here is it's a really in-depth piece of software and in future I will make another video that goes into detail about all of these uh, sections. Uh, but for now, what we're going to need to do is just import your wallet into the Terra Station desktop client. So for that, you're going to need to head back on over to your browser. You're going to need to click on the Terra icon in your extensions toolbar. You're going to need to click on settings and you're going to need to click on export private key. It'll prompt you to enter your password. So go ahead and do that and hit generate key. At this point, it will give you your private key. So go ahead and copy that. And then head back on over to the Terra Station application. You're gonna to go to connect. You're gonna to go to import private key. You'll then paste your private key into the key box and then it will ask you your password. Go ahead and enter your password. Hit submit and it will log you into your wallet. As you can see up here, you've got confirmation, we've got the Yield Tutorials wallet name and we've got the Yield Tutorials wallet address. That's all there is for this for now. Uh, in a future video, I'll perhaps go into the wallet, the history, the staking, the swap sections and give you a bit of an outline of what all of this information means. But for now, let's get back to the Terra Bridge. Okay, so the next step is we're going to head over to bridge.terra.money and you'll be greeted with this screen. This is the Terra Bridge. As you can see, it's quite a straightforward looking interface. You uh, you pick which network you wish to send from and which you wish to send to. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, I have assumed that you have an Ethereum MetaMask wallet. 
with some either Luna or some EST in it, and you wish to send it over to the Terra station wallet that you just created. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and connect our wallet. That's a MetaMask wallet. This is my little Yield Labs test wallet up here that I have created for doing tutorials and so forth with. It's on the Ethereum blockchain. The asset that I'm going to be sending today is UST. So as you can see, I just have a small denomination of UST in there for testing and for fun and for tutorial purposes. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and enter the amount that we want to send. So let's just say we wanna send $100. Now the destination address is going to be your Terra station wallet address or your Terra wallet address. Let's go ahead and click up here into your extension toolbar. You'll see our yield tutorials wallet address. This is a little guy up here. Click this and you will see that it's copied it to your clipboard. You can go ahead and paste your address down into the destination address. As you can see here, it expressly, expressly exaggerates that you should not use an exchange address for cross-chain transfers. Now, there's a lot of reasons for this that I won't go into, but just ensure that you own the keys for the wallet that you are sending from and to. That'll make the whole thing a lot easier. Go ahead and click next. Here it will ask you to confirm your transaction. It gives you the asset that you're sending, the destination address, and the receive amount. Once more, click confirm, and it will bring up your MetaMask options. So as you can see here, the interaction is with the bridge.terra.money. I'm sending wrapped UST. The gas fee is $4.25. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. And we wait. And there we go, complete. So transferring UST from the Ethereum network to the Terra network, trans transaction will be submitted via MetaMask. So I can just go over here and click home. And that'll take me back to the home page of the Terra bridge. Now, hopefully, I can click on my Terra wallet up here. We should see that I have a hundred extra dollars in there. And there we go, confirmed. And it really is as simple as that. That is using the Terra bridge to send assets from the Ethereum blockchain over to the Terra network. That is a wrap on today's video, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We hope the content was useful in helping you get a better grasp on yield generation in this space. Hop on over to Twitter and follow us at, at Yield Labs for updates and more.